Hey, Walking Dead fans, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a video, just a little talking, just talking about some Rick theory and movie ideas and spinoff stuff and a few other things, just kind of talking. We haven't talked about Rick Grimes. We haven't talked about the movies too much. I was hoping they would be coming out with some information, but they haven't yet. We'll probably have to wait until the SDCC at home or the CC at home as far as Comic-Con, and they should have some panels. Robert Kirkman, Scott Gimple, some of the cast should be there. Um, even if it's virtual panels, they should be able to release us some information, some trailers or, or ideas or teasers or promos, something uh, to be able to give it to us hopefully soon. But definitely spoiler alert if you're not caught up to Season 10 and um, everything I'll just be kind of sporadically talking about the Walking Dead universe and uh, spoiler for Fear the Walking Dead as well I'll probably like I say I'll be talking about just about almost everything including the comic all right I'll start off by the main Rick theory the ultimate Rick theory um, what is it what could it be and the biggest question people have is there's been a big time jump so why hasn't Rick came back to look for his family there's been a bunch of people that have leaned toward the memory loss thing, and I think most of the rest of us agree that that's just such a awful plot device or thing to do. And some people say it's a Gimple thing to do, and he's probably going to do it. But no, it's not memory loss. It's not going to be memory loss, and yes, that is a terrible plot device or something to put in a movie or story. So my theory and the thing that I'm going with is that he is a prisoner. He is in some type of concentration camp or prisoner camp. I don't know if they're making him work. I don't know if they're just keeping him in prison in this camp the whole time. It could just be an, an experimental prison, meaning they're experimenting on these people. I'm not sure if they're, they have experimented on Rick yet or are going to. So that's my theory is why he hasn't came back is because he's been... A prisoner he could not escape he has not escaped maybe he's tried to escape and they've locked him down even tighter I do predict most of the first movie or at least a main point in it is that Rick gets to wherever he's going they fix him up they realize he's a, a threat you know to what they're doing he does something that they have to lock him up and then the first movie kind of turns into a prison movie I actually think inside this prison, he's actually going to have to prove himself again and kind of make friends or uh, alliances or whatever it may be with the people. Because in the comic, Rick made alliances with the people by just being in the town, being in the community of Commonwealth. That's what happened to Rick's story in the comic. But he got taken out of the show. He's not going to meet Commonwealth. He went to the three circle groups, CRM civic republic military and we know through jadis and her actions of the a and b thing that they're doing some type of experiments um some type of sci-fi something is going on with these guys so i do believe rick is going to have to build up who he is and why he is and how he is and everything inside this prison to these people to be able to get people on his side and we have found out that shane and possibly some other past characters dead characters will be in the movie as well if you saw the episode that rick left he had hallucinations that shane was there herschel sasha so many people came back and revisited rick through hallucinations and it seems that's the way it's going to happen in the movie as well we may see carl we may see Lori, we may see some others but shane i think definitely has been confirmed and that just leads to if they're trying to make this a standalone movie, I'll talk more about that in just a second, but if it's going to be a standalone movie, meaning you don't have to have watched the Walking Dead TV series for the movie to make sense, if they have a shame flashback, I wonder how they're going to play that out as far as introducing all of these backstory characters through these hallucinations with Rick and it being a standalone movie that anyone can understand. So it'll be interesting to see how they put it all together. In the meantime... We're going to have these solo movies, and by the second movie, we should have other characters coming in. And besides Jadis, we may even have a character come in even in the first movie. I predict Morgan, he will get saved by the CRM group most likely, and it may take all season for us to figure that out. He's laying there, bleeding out the whole season, talking some wisdom or something. 
But if they take him, he could end up in the first movie pretty easily because Fear is still several years behind The Walking Dead. So it's definitely possible that Morgan arrives and is in the same facility as Rick. But I'm not sure how that's going to play out. Sherry actually may save Morgan. I thought, no, that's not how it's going to happen. Sherry's going to come in through one of the communities that everybody's divided up into, and she'll get with Dwight, find Dwight, meet Dwight, and they'll try to escape or start a rebellion. And they'll eventually maybe meet up with Morgan. And, of course, we know Michonne is going to have her own story leading to, somehow, the movies as well. And it'll have its own thing happening. Morgan's, uh, if he has a movie transition, he may go straight to the movies. But it's reported that Daryl's going to have a spinoff kind of movie. He'll leave the show looking for Rick. His adventure will be in his own little movie. And he will then end up in the actual The Walking Dead Rick Grimes movies. So Scott Gimple definitely has this marvel cinematic universe type idea where you've got all these different superhero movies but then they all came together in infinity war and endgame the walking dead is where all the characters were together it's kind of a reverse the main show was first and it's going to splinter out into some solo movies for the characters which will then converge into another movie the walking dead movie that'll have rick grimes in it and Scott Gimble has said he wants the movie to be a standalone type of thing, meaning a new viewer who hasn't seen The Walking Dead TV show can actually watch this movie and it'll make sense. Even though they'll know Rick has this huge backstory happening, and if they watch the TV show, they can figure it out, but they don't need to know it to understand the movie, which I think is cool if they can pull that off. And But... The reason he wants it to be that way, you know, it's definitely a marketing thing because people who haven't seen the show will want to know Rick's backstory, right? They'll want to go back and watch the show if they enjoyed the movie, of course, because in the movie, part of that plot line definitely has to be Rick wanting to escape to get back to his family. And that'll entice new viewers to come in and the Michonne side movie, the Daryl side movie, whatever may happen with Morgan, which could entice them to... Uh, go back and watch Fear as well to see Morgan's backstory and more of the entire backstory because they're really trying to reach new viewers as far as what why they're doing it that way and kind of part of their plan. I mean, everybody wants more Walking Dead and a huge big story like that. It'll be cool to see, I think, several different character movies. And it looks like we may even get a spinoff, Negan spinoff, if it, that plays out because of some recent events. You'll have to check out a the video I just done on big, huge news of them, uh, Robert Kirkman and Charlie Adler releasing a new comic uh, about Negan, uh, even though the comics ended. So you have to check out that video. But as you can see with the new show, World Beyond, and kind of what they're doing here as far as enticing people to want to go see what Rick's backstory is all about. There's new viewers that have come along since 2010 when the show started. People who were too young to watch the show back then. There's a whole new several uh, age demographics that have come along since then. So this, they're trying to reach back, you know, saying, hey, all these new TV watchers that didn't have a chance to watch The Walking Dead, check out what it is. Watch this movie and then meet these characters, Rick Grimes and these people, and then realize there's this entire 10 going on 11 season backstory to this character. But even though we've been postponed and it looks like things are spiking again, and we're really going to have to be careful and open up and try to make it where we can still have some production and some TV shows at least. Come on, y'all. I fear we may be backsliding before we even really get open good here in America, but that's just me. But I hope all you guys are safe and staying safe. This is James in Nashville. Let me know what you think about it all in the comments below and I'll join you there. As always, guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more dead stuff. Okay, bye.